500 grams of unsalted butter and you melt it in a big stainless steel pot on the stove top. There's five cups of flour, two and a half cups of self-raising and two and a half cups of plain flour. There's vanilla essence, one orange that's been juiced and a whole lot of almonds that I'm going to crush in a minute and half a cup of caster sugar. So here I go. And the almonds are ready. The butter's melted and it's cooled down now so now I'm going to just throw in the orange juice, give it a bit of a stir. Next thing I put in is the crushed almonds. I like lots of crushed almonds. Stir those around. And but not forget the vanilla. I did last time, it didn't make any difference really. Anyway, a bit of vanilla, maybe a bit more. And just stir the flour and then you just stir it into the butter mixture till it makes a dough. put the sugar in before but I don't think it's going to make much difference I'm putting it in now and I'll give it a good stir there's only half a cup of sugar in this which is terrific because after they bake you drench them in icing sugar and if you don't like a sweet taste you can shake off the icing sugar this looks like it's ready Now I'm just kneading the dough over the big saucepan and it's really easy, you just pop it on your baking paper and if your baking paper moves, it's a good idea just to pop a bit of water under it and it will stay on your bench top and get your favourite cutter, this is mine and just dip it in to the flour and there is your first cookie. I just bought this from Coles and I'm just going to try it for the first time. It's got a little Santa on it. Santa, don't know if it's going to work. Maybe I'll press it a bit harder next time. I'll just turn it over and try it. Let's have a look. I'll do it a bit harder. how that's going to turn out but that's what I'm going to do this year. You better not have me in it. Oh, it didn't fit. Fit it in there. It? And I'll flatten it. And is lost in the snow, I think. I'm going to put them in the oven now. It's a moderate oven, it's fan forced for about 20 minutes. 
shape them out. It's a moderate oven and, and, and I put it on about oh, 175 for, or set the timer for 20 minutes and then check them then. Usually it takes a little bit more, especially because I've got three trays in the oven. Back in 20 minutes. Oh, they're more than ready. Perfect colour. And I've got this one. Just leave it up here while I get out the bottom tray. I flipped these over a minute ago just to get them really cooked through. And there they are. They're going to cool down now. And when they come to room temperature, we're well, going to drench them in icing sugar. Sifting pure icing sugar over the biscuits that have been baked. These are the ones that are for us because they're made with organic salt raising and plain flour. But these next ones, which I'm going to put on a plate that Jess made when she was at Kinder, are for Jess because she eats gluten-free cookies biscuits. Anyway, here are Jess's gluten-free ones and I'm going to sift the icing sugar over the gluten-free ones too. They're a bit crumbly but they have worked, which is good. Over and out. And before I go, this recipe was first given to me by my friend Helen and I've used it for about at least 30 years that I can remember. Sizing sugar's a bit lumpy so it's a bit of hard work. 